transformations of logarithmic functions. Now, log functions, the graphs of log functions, and the transformation of those follow really follow the same rules as a lot of other transformations that we've ever seen uh, in previous uh, lessons of, uh, regarding functions and their transformations. And we've got three logarithmic functions that we're going to consider here. And first, I'm going to kind of discuss what transformation we will, in fact, see. And then we'll take a look at the graphs uh, and verify that. So then this first one, we've got a of x equals the natural log uh, natural log x minus 6. Now, the fact that this negative 6 is in the parentheses would indicate that I'm going to have a horizontal shift and it's a negative 6 so I'm going to have a horizontal shift to the right 6 units Right. And it's just like any other transformations we've seen. When we see it inside the parentheses, we see a horizontal shift. Now, in this second one, b of x equals uh, 0 0.5 or 1 half. So we've got a coefficient here. It's less than 1. That tells me I'm either going to see a, uh expansion or a compression. Uh, ln, the natural log of x and then the minus 2, but it's not inside the parentheses. So I actually got two transformations going on here. And so that 1 half ln is going to compress the function. It's going to be compressed vertically by a factor of 1 half. It's going to be compressed vertically. And then I'm going to have a vertical shift down to. So then also we got a vertical shift down negative, say negative 2. Let me write that a little bit better. Down 2. And then the third one, we got c of x equals the natural log. And again, in parentheses, I got x plus 4. That, tell, that x plus 4 tells me I've got a horizontal shift to the left, 4 units. And then the positive 3 outside the parentheses again is a vertical shift up 3. Okay, well there's the description of it. Let's go take a look at the graphs themselves. Alright, so here in the blue, the graph in the blue is just simply uh, the natural log of x, the parent function of this um, log function. And there, we, and here we see the x minus 6. And in fact, I do see, let's see what color I can use this. I see a vertical, I mean, a, yeah, horizontal shift of 6 units. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's that horizontal shift to the right of six units. Now we got the one half or 0 0.5 ln of x minus two, that negative two taking us to a vertical shift down to, and again, the red, the red graph is this transform function. The blue is the parent. So I see a vertical shift down two, and then I see it's compressed. It's, it's pushed down towards um, vertically, let's say, by that factor of five, along with the vertical shift down of two. And then quickly, let's look at the last one here. So here we got C of X equals the natural log of X plus four plus three. Well, I've got this horizontal shift to the left by four. We go one, two, three, four, right there. 
And then we've got a vertical shift up three from right here. One, two, three. Shazam. There we go. We've looked at the graphs of transformations of logarithmic functions.